Happy Monday, everybody. It is time for the T3 TrueNOS Tech Talk recap, episode 37. Pretty much the entirety of T3 this week was an interview with a man named Joel May, who built a TrueNOS port for ARM processors. Joel's a professional ARM developer for a big internet service company, and he does this for a living. In case you don't know what ARM is, it's basically the type of processor that's used most commonly with Raspberry Pis. TrueNOS does that actually run that well on the Pi. It works well in parallels on Mac, which is one of the things that Chris mentioned, and that Apple Silicon is pretty powerful and runs TrueNOS really well. They did mention that if you test this on a Raspberry Pi 4 or 5 to let them know, because right now no one's really done testing on small single board computers like that, they're kind of underpowered for what TrueNOS wants to do. One of the first questions that Chris asked Joel was whether or not he was able to do movie streaming of 4K movies. Joel mentioned that he did manage to get streams of 4K movies, but he did it via SMB share. He was not media streaming through a server like Plex or Jellyfin. In fact, the apps in the catalog do not work on his version of TrueNOS. It's because of the apps catalog is built to run on x86-64. There was no apps to actually work with in terms of Docker to set up something like a Plex Media server. So Joel has an SMB share going from his TrueNOS and on his TV, he has a set-top box that can accept an SMB share. And he was just basically playing the movie as if it was playing from the local hard drive, even though it was on a share. Joel's purpose of doing this was mainly to test if his version of TrueNAS can serve files over the network. If you're interested in testing this, Joel has some builds that he's already constructed for ARM. The one that he's testing with right now is Fangtooth, and he's already built some nightly ones from Half Moon. Goldeye is under development right now, so he has to tweak what he's doing on his side a little bit to work with some Goldeye builds. But Fangtooth is the one that he recommends testing with if you want to test and virtualize this the way he does. When we jump over here, this is the official forum post on the TrueNest forums, and I'll link this in the video description below. The post that you're going to want to go to is this one, which again, I'll link in the video description. This is the TrueNest on ARM post that was listed in the announcements. Right now, it's in TrueNest General. You can see here, this has gotten quite a few comments. In fact, if you're actually interested in running TrueNAS on ARM, this is the post you're going to want to view. There's a lot of people in this that have already made some very helpful comments. Chris Moore's already started tagging some stuff up here and pinning some comments for you guys to see. The original creator of this, Joel, is on this. You'll see him as Joel Zero right here. This is him. Jeff Geerling is already on this post. So I recommend if you really want to go ahead and jump in and try this, which I encourage you to do, read this post first and read these comments to make sure you're kind of caught up with where everybody is in the conversation in terms of hardware compatibility and all the little intricacies of getting this to work. That's all we have for today. Day. The T3 TrueNOS Tech Talk didn't talk about anything except for ARM, except for the fact that they'll be back on their regular schedule starting next week. So I'm looking forward to see what they're going to announce then. But this whole thing was on ARM. There was no other updates or no other mentions of anything so far. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please like and subscribe. Give us a big thumbs up on the, if you like this video. Please leave a comment below if you're interested in running TrueNOS on ARM, or maybe you were going through some pains of trying to get this working. Let everybody else know so they can follow your work. Thank you guys for subscribing to our channel. If you're interested in having a conversation with us, please jump on the Servers at Home Discord. And if you want to thank me personally, please buy me a coffee.